Welcome to the Comparator Podcast. We have an absolutely thrilling episode for you today, one that celebrates something that brings us joy every morning. Yes, that's right. We're diving into the aromatic world of coffee machines. And joining us on this journey is a home appliance expert, the amazing Sabrina Lico. Sabrina, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Chris. I'm excited to be here and talk about such an essential part of many people's morning routine. So Sabrina, today we have five contenders vying for the title of best premium coffee machine. Let's start by briefly introducing our competitors. First up is the DeLonghi all-in-one combination coffee maker and espresso machine. Sounds impressive, right? The manufacturer claims this model can do it all. But let's dig a little deeper. How does it handle coffee grinding? Is this jack-of-all-trades truly versatile? DeLonghi makes a lot of promises. And yes, this coffee machine is intriguing with its multifunctionality. It combines a coffee maker and an espresso machine in one unit. But Chris, there are some nuances. For instance, the grind size is adjustable, but the range of settings isn't as wide as one might hope. This could be an issue for those who prefer a specific grind size for the perfect flavor. Now that's interesting. So versatility is great, but it comes with some caveats. How about the pressure? That's a key factor for espresso, right? Absolutely. The DeLonghi uses the standard 15 bar pressure, which is perfectly adequate for home use. However, what's crucial is the consistency of that pressure. Sometimes the machine can dip during the process, which can affect the taste of your espresso. That's definitely a red flag. Let's move on. Our next contender is the Breville bs 8 l Barista Express. Here, it's all about precision. How user-friendly is this machine, and how does that impact the final result? The Breville Barista Express is a dream for those who love to tweak settings. It offers impressive control over the grind size, which really opens up a world of experimentation. But Chris, such an approach does require time and skill. If you're not willing to invest in the process, this might not be the machine for you. Fascinating. So this one's more for those who want to be their own barista. And what about the pressure and water tank capacity? It also uses a 15-bar pump, but its consistency is remarkable. Plus, the water tank is large enough to make several cups in a row without needing a refill. That's convenient for families or if you often have guests over. Good to know. Moving on to the next model, Philips 3200 series. Sabrina, this machine seems to want to do everything for us. How about its automation and other smart features? The Philips 3200 series is all about convenience. It's fully automated, so if you don't want to fuss with settings, it handles everything for you. You can adjust the temperature, strength, and water amount, then just press a button. The machine takes care of the rest. It's perfect for those who want to enjoy coffee without thinking too much about the process. Convenience, you say? So it's focused on comfort and speed, but perhaps at the expense of flexibility. Exactly. It won't offer the same level of precise adjustments as the Breville, but if you're not into the details, Philips is an excellent choice. Great. We still have two more contenders. Sabrina, what are your thoughts on the Psychozelsis SM76A404? From the description, it seems like a true technological marvel. What makes it so special for serious coffee aficionados? Chris, the Seiko Zelsis is a gem for those who value a personalized coffee experience. This machine offers an incredible range of settings. You can adjust practically everything from grind size to water temperature and portion size. For enthusiasts looking to perfect their brew, this model provides complete control over the process. So, it's for those who love to experiment and customize every detail. But could its many features be overwhelming? It really depends on the user. If you enjoy having everything under control, the Seiko Zelsis is a dream come true. But for beginners or those who just want to push a button and get coffee, it might feel a bit too complicated. However, for true coffee lovers, it's the perfect tool. It sounds like this machine is ideal for those who know exactly what they want from their coffee. Now let's talk about the Jura E8. This coffee machine promises smart automation and innovative technologies. How user-friendly is it? The Jura E8 is the epitome of convenience. 
It combines cutting-edge technology with ease of use. For example, it automatically adjusts the temperature and pressure depending on the beverage you choose. This means you get a perfect espresso or cappuccino every time without having to fine-tune the settings. Plus, it has a user-friendly interface that makes selecting your drink incredibly simple. That sounds amazing, especially for those who prioritize convenience. But what about the additional features? Is there anything that makes it stand out from the rest? Absolutely, Chris. The Jura E8 is equipped with a cleaning and maintenance system that automatically kicks in after each use. This not only extends the machine's lifespan, but also ensures that every cup you make is impeccably clean. It's one of those cases where technology truly works for the user. Wow, so the Jura E8 really does it all, makes coffee and takes care of the machine itself. We have some excellent contenders on the table. Now it's just a matter of deciding which one suits you best, dear listeners. Exactly, Chris. The key is understanding that each of these machines is designed to meet different needs. Your choice should depend on whether you value flexibility and control or simplicity and convenience. Great advice, Sabrina. Dear listeners, that wraps up our quick introduction to the contenders for the title of the best coffee machine. Stay tuned to Comparator, where we'll dive into a more detailed discussion. You're in for a treat. All right, folks, let's continue our coffee journey here on the Comparator podcast. And now we're diving into the heart of flavor, coffee grind size. Sabrina, are you ready for another round of coffee secrets? Absolutely, Chris. This is the moment where the coffee's flavor truly begins to take shape. Grind size really is the key to crafting that perfect cup. Exactly. Imagine each cup of coffee as a symphony of flavor and aroma, and the grind size is our conductor, determining how this concert of taste notes will play out. For example, espresso requires a fine, powder-like grind to ensure the pressurized water extracts every bit of goodness from the beans. On the other hand, a French press demands a coarse grind, allowing the water to slowly draw out the flavor, giving you time to savor the process. That's right. And when you have a coffee machine that lets you adjust the grind size, you become the maestro of your kitchen. You can tailor the flavor to any bean and any preference, achieving the perfect balance of taste and aroma. Well, let's see how today's contenders handle this crucial task. We'll start with DeLonghi. It has a built-in grinder, which is a plus, but I've heard it's not all smooth sailing. Tell us more, Sabrina. Yes, Chris, having a built-in grinder is definitely convenient. But here's the catch. DeLonghi's range of grind settings isn't as broad as we'd like. If you're someone who enjoys experimenting with different coffee types, this model might leave you a bit underwhelmed. There's just not as much creative freedom here. Got it. And what about the Breville Barista Express? I've heard it's a playground for coffee enthusiasts. You're spot on, Chris. This is where the fun really begins. The Breville comes with a built-in conical burr grinder that lets you really play around with grind size. Want espresso? No problem. Need a coarse grind for a Chemex? Easy. This wide range of settings makes the Breville a true all-rounder in the kitchen. It's like having your own mini coffee shop at home. Wow, that sounds impressive. And how about the Philips 3200 series? Philips is no slouch either. It features ceramic grinders, which is already a good sign. You can adjust the grind size, and while the range is decent, true coffee connoisseurs might feel it lacks a bit of flexibility. If you're used to precise adjustments, you might notice a slight limitation here. Understood. Now what about the Seiko Zelsis? I've heard it's quite the powerhouse. Oh yes, Seiko is a serious contender. It boasts 12 grind levels. And those ceramic burrs aren't just quiet, they ensure consistent grinding. It's like having a top-tier barista making your coffee every morning. And last on our list is the Jura E8. What's your take, Sabrina? The Jura E8 uses Aroma G3 technology, making the grind fast and quiet. However, the range of grind settings doesn't quite match up to some of the other models. If flexibility is what you're after, there are better options out there, though Jura's quality and speed are top-notch. So the moment of truth. Who's our winner in the grind size category? 
It's the Breville BS870XL Barista Express. This machine offers such a wide range of settings that you can control your coffee making process with precision. If you're after maximum flexibility and accuracy, Breville is your go-to choice. I agree, Chris. It's not just a coffee machine. It's your personal key to a world of endless coffee experiments. A perfect conclusion, Sabrina. Dear listeners, we'll continue breaking down the details to help you choose the perfect coffee machine. Stay tuned. Friends, welcome back to another episode of Comparator. As you know, we're diving into the world of premium home coffee machines, and today we've got a hot topic, pressure. Sabrina, is it true that without the right pressure, you can't make a proper espresso? Absolutely, Chris. Pressure is the unsung hero that transforms coffee beans into a true elixir of energy. Imagine sitting in a cozy cafe, watching a barista work their magic on your cup. But the real magic happens behind the scenes, and it's all about the pressure. Exactly. This is where the magic begins. Nine bars of pressure. That's like the holy grail in the coffee world. When everything's done right, the machine extracts the full potential of the beans, the flavor, the aroma, the richness. But here's the question. What happens if the pressure isn't just right? Well, Chris, if the pressure's too low, your coffee might turn out weak, like it's been watered down by rain. But if it's too high, you'll end up with bitterness that overpowers all the nuances. Got it. So let's take a look at today's contenders and see who handles this best. Let's start with DeLonghi. What's your take, Sabrina? DeLonghi is a solid player with 15 bars of pressure. This means the machine can easily hit the optimal nine bars needed for a perfect espresso. But like any skilled artisan, there are nuances. Maintaining a steady nine bars requires the right settings and grind quality. Understood. And what about the Breville Barista Express? I've heard it also handles pressure well. Oh yes, Breville is a serious contender. It's equipped with a powerful pump that confidently delivers 15 bars. It's like an athlete in peak condition, steady and reliable, ensuring top-notch quality every time. How about the Philips 3200 series? It also boasts 15 bars, right? That's correct, but there's a catch. Yes, it has 15 bars, but the durability of the pump can be a concern. If you use it frequently and intensively, you might run into some issues. Got it. What can you tell me about the Seiko Zelsus? The Seiko Zelsus is a real workhorse. Even under heavy use, it maintains a steady 15 bars and is ready to brew different types of coffee every day. It's a great find for those who drink a lot of coffee. And finally, the Jura E8. What's special about this one? Oh, here's where the real magic begins, Chris. The Jura E8 doesn't just maintain 15 bars, it uses them with incredible precision thanks to the pulse extraction process, PIP technology. It's like a conductor directing the pressure to ensure every flavor note is in its place, resulting in a rich, deep coffee experience. Sounds like something special. So, who's our winner in the pressure category? Without a doubt, it's the Jura E8. All the machines offer 15 bars, but Jura's PEP technology turns every espresso into a masterpiece. If you're after not just coffee, but art in a cup, this is your pick. Well said, Sabrina. So friends, to wrap it up, Jura E8 takes the top spot for pressure. We'll keep digging into the finer details of these coffee machines, so stay tuned. Now, let's talk about another crucial aspect of brewing the perfect coffee, water temperature. Sabrina, how much does it really affect the taste of our morning cup? Chris, it's absolutely essential. The optimal water temperature for brewing coffee is between 90 and 96 degrees Celsius. If the water's too cold, the coffee can turn out sour and watery, almost like you accidentally squeezed in some lemon. And if it's too hot, the taste can veer into bitter, burnt territory. That doesn't sound very appetizing. So it's important for a coffee machine to maintain the right temperature, right? Exactly. And even better, if the machine lets you adjust the temperature. This gives you the flexibility to tailor your coffee to your liking, whether you're after a bright espresso or a smooth latte. All right, let's see how today's machines handle this task. Let's start with DeLonghi. What can you tell us? 
DeLonghi is a solid, reliable choice. It handles the basics well, but the temperature control range is somewhat limited. If you enjoy experimenting with different coffee varieties, this model might not offer the flexibility you need. Got it. How about the Breville Barista Express? Now we're talking. Breville offers adjustable temperature settings, though the range isn't vast. However, it does come with a PID control system that ensures stable temperature throughout the brewing process. It's like having a precise, dependable assistant in the kitchen. You can trust that the temperature won't let you down. Sounds great. What about the Philips 3200 series? Philips is perfect for those who appreciate simplicity. It has a fixed temperature that's optimal for standard coffee. But if you're looking to customize or experiment, you'll have to work with what it gives you. Got it. And finally, the Seiko Zelsis. I've heard it offers a lot of options. That's right. Seiko Zelsis is an excellent choice for those who value customization. It allows you to adjust the water temperature with precision down to the exact degree. It's the ideal option if you're aiming to craft a truly unique cup of coffee. Interesting. And how does Jura E8 compare? Jura E8 doesn't disappoint either. It features an intelligent temperature control system that adapts to your recipes and settings. While it doesn't have manual temperature adjustment, the machine automatically adjusts to ensure the perfect extraction conditions. Excellent. So, who's our winner? Seiko Zelsa stands out as the best choice. With its precise temperature control, it gives you the freedom to fine-tune the brewing process exactly to your taste. If flexibility and experimentation are important to you, this model will be your trusted ally. Sounds convincing. In just a few moments, we'll continue our journey through the world of coffee technology. So stay with us. Folks, just a quick reminder, you're tuned in to another episode of Comparator. We're diving deeper into how modern coffee machines are turning the art of brewing into pure magic with just the push of a button. So Sabrina, tell us, how are these smart machines making our lives easier? Chris, it's truly amazing how far technology has come. Not too long ago, getting a great cup of coffee meant a trip to the cafe. But now, the best baristas can move right into your home, in the form of a coffee machine, of course. Today's models do everything. From grinding fresh beans to crafting the perfect latte or cappuccino, all with almost no effort on your part. It's like magic, no doubt. But let's not stop there. Let's see which of today's contenders handles this task best. How's DeLonghi doing? DeLonghi is like a good entry point into the world of automation. It comes with a built-in grinder and automatic milk frother, but it still requires a bit of input from the user. You have to decide on the grind size and dosage yourself. So, if you're dreaming of full automation where everything is done for you, it might leave you wanting more. Got it. Not quite the magic we're after. What about the Breville Barista Express? Now it gets more interesting. The Breville Barista Express grinds and doses the coffee automatically, but you'll still need to do some hands-on work to get that perfect cappuccino. It's a great option for those who want to be involved in the process, but don't want to spend too much time on it. Sounds like a good compromise, but we're here to find true automation, right? What can you tell us about the Philips 3200 series? The Philips 3200 series is a step towards full automation. You just pick your desired drink and the machine takes care of the rest. With its integrated milk frother and grinder offering multiple settings, you're guaranteed a perfect cup every time without any extra effort. Now we're getting close to what I'd call real magic. But from what I understand, the true star of the show is the Seiko Zelsis. Absolutely. The Seiko Zelsis is the king of automation. It lets you create up to 15 personalized drink profiles where every parameter, from grind size to milk texture, is automatically adjusted. The interactive touchscreen makes it so easy to use that the whole process feels like a work of art. Wow, that really does sound like art in a cup. But Jura E8 is also impressive, right? No doubt about it. 
The Jura E8 shines with its automated features, its one-touch cappuccino technology, and the ability to prepare various drinks with just one button make it an ideal choice for those who want to enjoy consistently high-quality coffee without fiddling with manual settings. Well, that sounds like some tough competition. But if we're choosing a winner today, who takes the crown? The Seiko Zelsis definitely wins in the automation category. It offers maximum flexibility by fully automating the brewing process and letting you enjoy every moment without worrying about the details. This model is your key to perfect coffee with absolute comfort and personalization. Now that's what I call a coffee wizard. Thanks, Sabrina, for this incredibly insightful review. Folks, if you're on the hunt for a machine that does it all, stay with us. There's much more to come. Friends, as we continue our quest to find the perfect home coffee machine, let's talk about one of those aspects that often goes unnoticed but can make a big difference in your morning routine, the size of the water reservoir. Sabrina, how often do you think about how much water is in the tank when you're making coffee? Chris, honestly, all the time. It's one of those details that really comes to mind when you're in a rush in the morning and you need to make coffee not just for yourself, but for the whole family or your coworkers. A larger reservoir can be a real lifesaver. I couldn't agree more. When you have a machine with a decent-sized reservoir, like the Breville Barista Express, which holds a whopping two liters of water, you can forget about constantly refilling it. Sabrina, that sounds like a dream, doesn't it? Absolutely. With two liters of water, you can brew cup after cup, especially if you've got a big family at home or colleagues who are always asking for another round. It really makes life easier. But not all machines are as generous with their reservoir size as Breville. What about the DeLonghi, which has just 1.3 liters? Well, let's just say the DeLonghi is a bit of a compromise. Yes, 1.3 liters is enough for a few cups, but if you drink a lot of coffee or make it for others, you'll find yourself running to the tap more often. It can be a bit annoying, especially if you're used to a larger reservoir. I get it but not everyone wants a massive water tank, right? Maybe the Philips 3200 series with its 1.8 liters offers a more balanced option. Definitely, the Philips 3200 series is a great middle ground. It's enough for several servings, but the reservoir doesn't take up too much space. It's an excellent choice for those who want to balance between convenience and functionality. A good option for those who don't want to compromise, and what about the Seiko Zelsis with its 1.7 liter capacity? The Seiko Zelsis is perfect for families or small groups. It's not too bulky, but it still allows you to make enough coffee for everyone. It's a very convenient size, especially if you don't have a lot of counter space in your kitchen or office. Practical and compact, I'd say. And finally, the Jura E8, almost two liters, but not quite. Sabrina, is this the perfect balance between size and convenience? Yes, the Jura E8 is nearly ideal for those who drink a lot of coffee throughout the day. Almost two liters in the reservoir is plenty to keep the coffee flowing without worrying about frequent refills. If your home or office runs on coffee, this is a great choice. So, if we're summing up, we've got a clear leader here, don't we? Absolutely, Chris. The Breville Barista Express with its two liter reservoir is the top choice for those who want maximum convenience and don't like to fuss with water too often. This machine lets you enjoy coffee all day without any extra hassle. It's perfect for both home and small office use. Thanks, Sabrina. Friends, to determine the winner of our comparison, we still need to discuss the additional features these coffee machines offer. We'll dive into that in just a few seconds. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss the next episode. So Sabrina, imagine this. We have a coffee machine that doesn't just brew coffee, but turns every morning into a true delight. I'm talking about features that elevate coffee making from a routine task to an art form. What makes these extra features so special? Oh, Chris, this is such a fascinating topic. Picture this. Your coffee machine isn't just mixing water and coffee. 
It's crafting every cup into a little masterpiece. Take the automatic cappuccinator, for example. It doesn't just froth milk. It does it so perfectly that you get a velvety foam just like at your favorite cafe. Or how about the automatic cleaning and descaling programs? Who wants to spend time cleaning? With these features, maintenance becomes almost invisible. Sounds like music to the ears of those who love their morning coffee, but don't want to fuss with the tech. Let's talk about specific models. Take the DeLonghi All-in-One, for instance. It seems to have everything. An automatic cappuccinator, the ability to make various types of coffee. But if you want to control it with your smartphone or get cleaning reminders, you're out of luck. Why is that? Good question. DeLonghi is an excellent choice for those who want high-quality coffee without the hassle, but it's more focused on delivering a traditional experience. It doesn't have Wi-Fi, so you can't start it from your bedroom or set up service reminders. Yes, there are cleaning programs, but they do require your involvement. What about the Breville Barista Express? It's semi-automatic, which is a different ballgame, right? Exactly. The Breville Barista Express is for those who want a bit more control over the process. It offers automatic grinding and dosing, but you'll need to handle the milk frothing and cleaning yourself. There's no Wi-Fi either, so everything is done manually. Got it. Now, if we step it up a notch, say with the Philips 3200 series, it seems like things get a bit more interesting here. Yes, the Philips 3200 series brings in a bit more automation. You've got an automatic cappuccinator and cleaning functions with descaling that make maintenance much easier. You can brew several types of coffee with just the push of a button, but again, no Wi-Fi or app control. But as they say, we continue the ascent. Let's take a look at the Seiko Zelsis. This is where the magic really begins, right? Oh, absolutely, Chris. The Seiko Zelsis isn't just a coffee machine, it's a technological marvel. 15 different drink programs, an automatic cappuccinator, built-in cleaning and descaling programs, a touchscreen, and of course, Wi-Fi for app control. This machine can turn your morning ritual into a true work of art. Incredible. And finally, let's not forget about the Jura E8, which also has a rich set of features, right? Yes, the Jura E8 is another excellent choice. With the JOE app, you can control the machine remotely, make milk-based drinks with the touch of a button, and receive notifications about the machine's status. It's convenience right at your fingertips. Sabrina. If we bring it all together, which of these machines stands out as the clear leader? If you're after maximum features, automatic maintenance, and modern connectivity, the Seiko Zelsis is your top choice. It turns every morning into a small celebration and ensures you enjoy your coffee without any extra hassle. A true leader among premium coffee machines. Well said, Sabrina. Thank you for that detailed analysis. Always a pleasure, Chris. Folks. We're just moments away from determining the ultimate winner among premium coffee machines. Stay with us for the most exciting part. All right, everyone, the moment of truth has arrived. We've delved into the details, explored every feature, and now it's time to crown the coffee machine that truly deserves the title of queen. Joining me in the studio is home appliance expert, Sabrina Lyko. Sabrina, the floor is yours. Hi, Chris. It's been an exciting analysis, and I'm ready to announce the winner. Excellent. But before we get to that, let's briefly recap the key aspects we discussed. Let's start with grinding. If I remember correctly, the Breville Barista Express really stands out here, right? Absolutely, Chris. The Breville Barista Express is a paradise for those who love to play with grind settings. Its built-in conical burr grinder allows you to select the perfect grind for espresso. It's a real gem for anyone who wants control over every step. On the other hand, the DeLonghi and Philips 3200 series offer more basic settings, lacking the flexibility of the Breville. The Seiko Zelsis also holds its own with 12 grind levels, but in terms of flexibility, Breville is the leader here. And what about pressure? How do our contenders stack up there? It's pretty even across the board. DeLonghi, Breville, Philips 3200, and Seiko Zelsis all maintain 15 bars of pressure, which is ideal for a rich espresso. 
But the Jura E8 goes a step further with its pulse extraction process, PEP technology, which extracts the maximum flavor from every drop. This level of finesse could be a deciding factor for true coffee aficionados. Great. Now what about water temperature? How critical is that? Oh, it's crucial, Chris. The fixed temperature on the DeLonghi can be a limitation, especially if you enjoy different coffee varieties. Breville uses a PID control system to maintain stable temperatures, but it's still somewhat limited. The Philips 3200 series also has a fixed temperature. However, the Seiko Zelsus allows you to fine-tune the water temperature, making it ideal for those who want to unlock the full potential of different beans. The Jura E8, on the other hand, uses intelligent temperature control that automatically adjusts to your preferences, providing a perfect balance between convenience and flavor. Automation. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about the Seiko Zelsus. It seems to be the favorite here. Absolutely. The Seiko Zelsus is a lazy coffee lover's dream. It offers 15 personalized drink profiles with full automation of every process, from grinding to pouring. The Philips 3200 series and Jura E8 also offer high levels of automation, but the Seiko Zelsus wins with its fine-tuning capabilities and personalization options. It's perfect for those who value comfort and love having everything done for them. And finally, the water tank capacity. How does that influence the decision? It's simple. If you have a large family or just don't want to constantly refill the tank, Capacity matters. The DeLonghi's 1.3-liter tank might seem a bit small. The Philips 3200 and Seveco Zelsus offer 1.8 and 1.7 liters, respectively, which is better for home use. But the Breville Barista Express with its 2 liters and the Jura E8 with 1.9 liters are great for those who don't want to think about refilling all day long. So Sabrina, the moment of truth. Which machine takes the crown? The winner is the Seiko Zelsus. This model stands out not only for its technical specs, but also for how easily it adapts to any need. With its flexible grind and temperature settings, high degree of automation, and excellent control via an interactive touchscreen with Wi-Fi support, it's perfect for coffee connoisseurs. It's truly the best choice for anyone who wants to enjoy every cup to the fullest without spending extra time and effort. That was a thorough discussion. Thank you, Sabrina, for your expertise and for helping us crown the true queen of coffee. Always happy to help, Chris. I wish our listeners happy shopping. And remember, the choice is always yours. We're just here to provide the information. Absolutely, Sabrina. The choice is always in the hands of the buyer. So if you're in the market for a new coffee machine, weigh the pros and cons and pick the one that best fits your lifestyle. And if you enjoyed our review and want to stay up to date on the latest gadgets, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Comparator. We always strive to keep you informed about the most current and exciting devices to help you make an informed choice. Don't forget to like this episode if you found it helpful and leave a comment about which coffee machine or other device you'd like to see in our next review. We value your opinion and are happy to take your suggestions. Thanks for joining us. May your coffee always be delicious and your mood always bright. See you in the next episodes of Comparator. We've got plenty more in store for you. Bye-bye.